We want to graph the equation 5x plus 2y equals 10, and we want to do this by using the table method. They give us x values to put in, we're going to plug them into the formula for y, and then we get a set of points that we're going to plot. Now, in order for this process to work, this here has to automatically be solved for y. Now, the equation that we have here is not solved for y, so we have to do that first. So we're going to take 5x plus 2y equals 10, and first I want to solve this for y, so I can put it in here and use that for the table. To do this, we're going to move the 5x across the equal sign, and when you do, it becomes negative. 2y equals negative 5x plus 10. Again, it's negative because you move it across the equal sign. Now you're going to divide everything by 2, both sides you divide by 2. y equals negative 5 halves x plus 5. So now this is the equation that we're going to use here in our table, and that's the one that we're going to be putting all these x values into. All the x values will be going into here, and we'll be able to get a set of points that we can plot. Okay, so now that we have that complete, we're going to start filling in the table. Now to do that, we're going to put negative 4 in place of x in this equation right here. So we get negative 5 halves, and I'm going to write the negative 4 as a fraction. I'm going to write it as negative 4 over 1 to make it easier to multiply. Now you can either cross cancel, or you can multiply across the top, across the bottom. And once you're done with that, don't forget to add the 5. You get positive 20 over 2, that's going to give you positive 10 plus 5, that gives you 15. So I'm going to make another column, x comma y, and the x value was negative 4, I got a y value of 15, which means that negative 4, 15 is one of the points that's going to be on my line. I want to keep on going with the rest of this to uh, fill in the, the uh, rest of the table, negative 5 halves, negative 2 over 1. Multiply that, the 2's are going to cancel, I get negative and negative will be positive 5. So I get 5 plus 5, that's going to be 10, so negative 2 and 10, and each have parentheses also. That's going to be your, your next set of points, negative 2 and 10 will be another point that's on your line. Keep on going, negative 5 halves times 0. 0 times anything is going to be 0. So this is 0 plus 5, that gives you 5, therefore 0, 5 is the next point. With 2, negative 5 halves times 2 over 1, the 2's cancel, and you get negative 5 plus 5, that's going to give you a 0. So 2 comma 0 is the next one. For 4, negative 5 halves times 4 over 1, when you multiply this you get uh, don't forget to add the 5. Negative 20 over 2 is negative 10 plus 5. That gives you negative 5. So 4 comma negative 5 will be the last point. So now all these, these are the points that you can plot in order to get a line. Now a line is determined only by two points. So you actually only have to pick two of these points only to draw to get the graph. So I'm going to pick these two because they're going to be easier for us to work with. So I have a 0, 5. Okay, so 0 is going to go up, up 5 because the y is positive, and I have 2 comma 0, go 2 to the right, and 2 is going to be right there. Now all the other points are going to be falling along this line, but you only need these two to, to connect to get your equation, the graph of your equation. Now, suppose it says find the intercepts. Okay, so if I want to find the intercepts, I'm going to label them right here. So where it crosses the y-axis, this is going to be your y-intercept. Where it crosses the x-axis, this is going to be called the, this is the x-intercept, where it crosses the horizontal or the x-axis. So if you want to list them out as points, you would say that 2, 0 is going to be your x-intercept and 0, 5 is going to be your y-intercept.